Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video in search of a great washcloth. Yes, I spent most of the week looking at tutorials and trying them out and some patterns for a washcloth. I decided as part of my Scorched Earth Challenge, it was time to attack my cotton stash. I have a little stash of cotton yarn, not very much, um, but I decided I needed to empty that drawer a little bit. And I also have some happy mail this week I want to share with you. So let's get started. Firstly, I'll share my happy mail with you. Today is Sunday. I've forgotten the date. And I got a happy mail on Tuesday. A lovely card and tea bags. There you go. Twin turtles. Sea turtles. Something we have here on the Great Barrier Reef. This is from Trish the Knitting Lady. If you haven't checked out her channel, please do so. She always makes me laugh. Painting by Lisa Spalling. We have turtle rescue groups here, like in Australia. It's either Eve or Q, Q of my artist friends is involved with them. Sorry, I can't read her writing very much. But yes, isn't that lovely? Sea turtles. We have a sea turtle rescue um, center on Green Island. We get a lot of sick green turtles and sea turtles from the Great Barrier Reef, uh, mainly because people who use the ocean, either boats or swimmers or cruisers, tend to flick their cigarette butts into the ocean. The reason you shouldn't do this, and it's a big no-no anyway, is one, sea turtles think they're food and they eat them. And when they eat them, they get is what is known as floats disease, which means they constantly float and they can't die for food. So they slowly die of starvation. We have big education pushes here on please do not flick cigarette butts into the ocean. So my public service announcement, if you didn't know that, you've learned something new today. With the card with some tea bags I have never seen before. I don't think they're available here in Australia. Red Rose, specially blended Red Rose fine teas. Now she sent me some flavoured teas. This one is caramel apple pie, herbal teas. There's blueberry muffin tea and strawberry, shake, um, strawberry cheesecake tea. I'm smiling because I've already had the lemon cake tea. I'm a big fan of lemons and I had to try this this morning. It was awesome. These are fantastic teas. I wish they were available here. So thank you to Trish, the knitting lady. I really appreciate you sending that. It certainly started my week off Tuesday with a sparkle receiving this little bit of happy mail. I, it's just awesome to receive notes. And some things about sea turtles over in the USA. So guys, in search of a great washcloth. Now I don't have a lot of cotton stash mainly because it's really expensive to buy 10 ply or full weight here but we do have a lot of 8 ply or 3 weight cotton and that's generally what builds up in my stash. So part of my Scorched Earth Challenge was this week to use up my cotton stash and to look for um, a washcloth. Now I have a standard washcloth, I do, but I thought I might have to look for some others. So when I kicked it off earlier in the week, I decided I had cotton scraps and I just made corner to corner washcloths using up cotton scraps. Now this is Bendigo 10 ply cotton left over and I made another corner to color and a slightly bigger. Now the yellow cotton I couldn't tell you what that is but the green is um, Lion brand kitchen cotton. Now the corner to corner the border is with from Krista at the Secret Yarnery. This is the border I love to do 
on my corner to corner and she has a tutorial for that so I put borders so they're the first two I did now any tutorials or um, channels I mention I'll put links to them in the description below so you will find a link to the tutorial for the corner to corner border I like to use but that's like a man size and that's slightly smaller but there are two washcloths I started with. I thought, well, I'll use up the scraps first. And that's what sort of motivated me to look for something a little different. So I still had some Bendigo scraps left over and I made a little child's washcloth in the shape of the fish. Now, this is a tutorial by Sarah Sarchi. Of course, there'll be a link below. But I think little kids would love this. This is my fish using up the leftover Bendigo cotton. So then I went to my, um, I went to Glenda, uh, uh, creative grandma Glenda, because I enjoyed the moss stitch um, challenge with Granny D so much. I decided I'd try a moss stitch um, tutorial, which I found on um, creative grandma Glenda's channel. And this is it. I actually put a hanger on it just for me. But this is in Lincraft. This is a local cotton, yeah, a three weight or eight ply. And I quite like that. I enjoyed that and it's a really good tutorial. So there'll be a link to that if you want to try that one. I then went to, of course, Crystal from Bag O Day. Now, I was lucky enough to be in one of our big stores, Big W, when I found the Carnival Soft Cotton 8-ply. I found they had one colour on special for $2 and it's normally $8 a ball and I had never tried it so I thought I'd buy it. So they had this blue and I tried Crystal from Bag o Day. This is um, Primrose Stitch. And I really like this. This turned out really nice. This is lovely soft cotton. I don't know if I'd pay $8 a ball for it, but if they ever threw it out on special, I definitely would buy more of this. It is certainly softer than the Lincraft cotton. This is lovely cotton. And this was a great tutorial. I do like the Primrose Stitch. But I'll put a link to um, Crystal's tutorial for this. This is a great washcloth. Now, I said I traditionally just do one washcloth. It was the first tutorial I found years ago. And, of course, it is Crystal's cobblestone washcloth. This was my favourite and is still my favourite washcloth to make. Reason being, the cobblestones make it textured. I think it's just perfect. I made this in um, Lion Brand's Kitchen Cotton. So my week of searching washcloths was fun and I used up some of my yarn stash. I did buy a ball, but can't help that. It was a great bargain. If I had to say which was my favourite, it would still be the cobblestone washcloth. There are lots of great tutorials for washcloths out there. My second favourite would be the primrose stitch. I don't know if it's because it's the lovely soft cotton. Um, and when I finished getting sick of using cotton, lo and behold, Glenda Creative Grandma released a really nice circular flower looking dishcloth that I'll have to try in the future. So there you have it. In search of a great washcloth, mine is still the cobblestone because I like the texture of the washcloth. Now, what inspired me to look at washcloths besides my scorched earth challenges, Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet is collecting washcloths for Rose for Wishes for Wings. And she is having a giveaway of a stained glass yarn ball with a crochet hook. I love stained glass. It is something I would love to learn to do when I fully retire. And I unashamedly would like to win her yarn ball. So she may be getting some of these in the mail. I even add to them just so I can enter her giveaway. I'll put a link to that video in below. below.
along with everything else all below in the description below this video um, so rose for wishes for wings needs washcloths dishcloths scrubbies in October and Lynette is collecting them by the end of August you have to have them to her by the end of August and yeah I think what a great cause wishes for wings needs washcloths so if you've got cotton in your stash and your weather is a little hot at the moment there's nothing better and quicker to make than some washcloths and donate them to a worthwhile cause um, for us it's suddenly got very cool here it's about 14 celsius which is very cold for the tropics hence long sleeves i probably will work on my advent blanket tonight because it can keep me warm while i'm watching television um, don't worry, our winter will probably only last this week. But yes, even little Saxon was cold. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my In Search of a Great Washcloth. Um, certainly, corner to corner is a great way to use up different colours scraps. If you have a favourite washcloth tutorial, please um, let me know in the comment below and I can check out the link. Because I certainly do have a lot more cotton yarn in my stash to use up thank you for watching to all my loyal subscribers i hope you keep enjoying my videos to anyone new who's joined the channel recently i hope you're enjoying the yarn adventures and you try making a washcloth make sure you stay safe take care and have one crafty day making something that brings you joy to your life because life is an adventure Bye for now.